Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm still here at the Nissan booth. A lot of excitement. Obviously, I gravitate towards that GTR Nismo sitting over there, but guess what? Their bread and butter, their best selling vehicle here in the United States is getting some changes for 2024, and it's right here next to me. What is it? It's the updated, changed up 2024 Nissan Rogue. But before we get into this compact crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Nissan really is putting pen to paper and proving that when they said that they were coming out with changes, they weren't just fibbing. They weren't just flapping their gums. We've seen a lot of updates with the Rogue already with its redesign, the new Aria, the new Z, all of these different vehicles in their lineup getting changed. Well, guess what? They don't want to just rest on their laurels. They want to keep making changes and updates because especially when it comes to compact crossover SUVs, the fighting is fierce. Now for 2024, they made some changes to the exterior the interior and technology wise. But what I want to find out is if you're looking for that competitor to the CRV, maybe a CX-5 from Mazda, is this new Rogue the way to go? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, this color, very, very classy, very sporty all at the same time and I'm digging it. Now at the front of the business is where you're gonna see the changes right off the bat. You're gonna have your updated front fascia. I love the way they work the LED daytime running lamps into that headlight housing, look at the changes. We have a massive, ginormous functional air curtain. Really gives some extra appeal to the front of the vehicle. And the Rogue was one of those ones that over the years, even though it was selling well, to me it was a little too round. Now we're giving it some, some substance. Now as we kind of take our knees and go across the carpet here, you'll notice on this particular trim, you're gonna get the bright, shiny metalwork accents, but look at how thin it is with that updated Nissan badge and the redesigned grill. Remember, the grill on a Nissan is all about V-Motion. And I like the way they're blending it all in. You can still see it, but it's kind of blended in very nicely. So Alfonso over at the art studio really did a nice job making those changes without making it look too different where you don't know it's a Rogue. Working our way down, we have a large open area, fully functional to allow that cool air little bit of gloss black. I'm liking the silver accents, these dark gray metallic silver accents, gives it some nice detail. And I think that's where Nissan really works well with their new designs, is the attention to detail. But that's all new for 2024. Now, as we rise up, you're still gonna get the same great hood. One of the things I've always liked, look at how flush the hood is with the upper grill. It's almost like the Egyptians built it after they were done with the pyramids. And then you'll notice that with the hood, you have that nice rise and then it kind of plateaus. That's for aerodynamic efficiency. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? We have new wheels for 2024. Love what they did. Small areas of machine aluminum. So you have these machine aluminum forks all the way around, but then you have this gunmetal metallic gray finish. I'm glad that they kind of trimmed back the machine aluminum and brought more of the gray. Let me know how you feel about this wheel, but I'm loving it. 19 inch wheel, tires are 235 on the width, 55 series sidewall. And then you'll notice how they have on this particular trim, the gloss black around the fender openings. Now I personally, I'm gonna zonk that. I wish it was all this color. This color looks so good. I wanna see it on those fender openings. Let me know how you feel about this gloss black and about the wheels in the comment section. Now, as we rise back up, you're gonna get, of course, the black painted mirror caps, LED turn signals, we got our 360 degree cameras, which are really nice. And then just like a lot of their other models, we have the two-tone. Now, what's interesting is that they did this almost like a, a semi-flat silver on the roof rails. I kind of like it because if it was black, I think it would throw off the lines of the body. So it's nice to have the roof rails because you know you're gonna take that family trip where your kids annoy you for half the drive. You're going to have to get those crossbars and you could put a cargo basket up there, whatever you need, but it's nice to have the roof rails. And like I said, with that color difference, I think it pops nicely. Bright, shiny metalwork only along the top. And I think with that, that helps give it that extra two-tone, really works well with the two-tone. Color matched on the door handles. And then just like up front, they brought some bright, shiny metalwork on this particular trim and you can see how it flares out as you get towards the back of the passenger door. Now, as we work towards the rear, and we come around the back, you'll see how they work that low roof spoiler, nicely done. Of course, you're gonna have your lighting, LED lighting, just like up front. And look at how they did the Rogue badge. 
nice flat silver with the black. Of course, it's a platinum trim. That means that this is the top trim. We have all wheel drive. You can get it front wheel drive, all wheel drive. Underneath the hood, we still have that 1.5 liter inline three turbocharged engine, putting out a little over 200 horsepower and it's still made it to a CVT, but it is nice to have that all wheel drive availability for those that need to maybe drive through snow or maybe do a little bit of light towing. But let's go ahead. The exterior has some changes. Let me show you some of the bigger changes to the interior on this 2024 Rogue. All right, guys, we're inside this updated, refreshed 2024 Nissan Rogue, this being the top trim, the platinum trim. Now, what's interesting, like I said, they made the changes to the outside, they've made some changes to the interior and I've already liked the Rogue interior. Now I know you're saying, well, Joe, how much does this cost? No word yet official on 2024 pricing, but expect it to be about the same for what you can get a Rogue today. So you're looking for a platinum trim, a little over 40 grand, but let's see if it's better than the competition. To the door panels, when you go platinum, look at the all new chestnut interior. Love the tan two-tone style. It reminds me of my favorite baseball mint when I used to play Little League Baseball. You do have some gloss black around the switch gear, which I am going to have to zonk because of the fingerprints. But the chestnut, I'm telling you, get the fire roasting because we're going to roast some chestnuts. Door pocket is very tight, so maybe four Pop-Tarts if you're lucky and a bottle of Yoohoo to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, more chestnuts roasting on the fire. Love the stitching. We have real wood trim. And make sure when you're rubbing your wood, be careful, you might get a splinter because this really is the real deal thing. Bose sound system, but look at what we got. New for 2024, two 12.3 inch infotainment system screens, all updated graphics, fonts. You do have Amazon Alexa. You got your YouTube music, the whole nine yards, including Google Assistant for the first time on a Nissan vehicle. Love the way you still got a volume knob. And then working your way down, you have your dual climate control, heated seats, but the big zonk for me, where's my ventilated seats? This is a platinum trim, man. I want some ventilated seats. But everything is nice with real physical buttons and knobs, even a heated steering wheel, uh, steering wheel start stop button, two USB Cs, a 12 volt. Don't stick your finger in it, kids. And then you have your wireless charging. Love the way they did this grooved texture on this plastic to make it even look fancier. You have your electric shifter for the CVT, and then you have your different drive mode selector knob. Now down below, you got your space for a five pound bag of avocados, five pound bag of potatoes, depending if you're in California or Idaho. If you got a five pound bag of oranges, you would think you're in Florida, but guess what? You're actually in California. More oranges come from California than from Florida. Did I just blow your mind? I hope I did. Soft material, the stitching, boop. Wow, look at the space in here. If you're wondering how much space is there, you could literally put 16 Twinkies. And I'm not exaggerating one bit. Just be careful not to bust the cream, your cream on this beautiful interior because look at the seats. Nice soft material, the stitching, the two-tone. Look at the diamond pleating. You do have electric assist for the passenger, electric assist for the driver, and a ginormous panoramic sunroof. But get your butt over here. I got 12 inches of infotainment screen I wanna show you. Come on over. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings. There's our power seat controls for the driver. Love the material. I mean, look at this. That's actually the sound of the material. I did not make that noise. I'm six feet tall. Plenty of room in here, even with the panoramic sunroof. I just wish they had ventilated seats. Steering wheel, though, beautiful. Flat bottom, nice leather, flat black on the switch gear. You do have paddles that go through the simulated gears because we have a CVT. And then you'll notice the 360 shield protection. We have lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, love the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. And then on top of that, you do get a head up display as well. So you can look straight and forward where you wanna go. But let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna like this updated Rogue. All right guys, come on in the back seat area. Lori got her protractor out because whenever we travel, she brings an abacus, a calculator, and a protractor. We measured this, this door opens 90 degrees exact to the point to allow easy in and out of your Nissan Rogue. Come into the back seat. The back seat passengers are gonna be spoiled with the same great materials as up front. You have pockets where you could easily put, I would say two full bags of Tostino's pizza rolls. You do have your AC vents, control your AC. Three stages of heated seats, two USB-C, so this is a nice 
command center for the backseat passengers. I love the amount of space in here. Plus you have the manual shades to keep the peepers and the creepers out. And there's a lot of creepers here at the LA Auto Show. And then check it out, that consistent Charmin Soft on that armrest, two cup holders. But why don't we get to the last piece of the puzzle? Let's get to the cargo area and see what you could haul in this Rogue. All right, guys, the last piece of the puzzle. Remember, if you want to open up the rear lift back, you have to actually push down here. Don't push underneath the Rogue name. So we're going to hit that button on the Platinum trim. You got that nice electric assist, opens up, and look what you're going to be greeted to, a plentiful amount of room. And what I love is how they engineered nooks here. So you could put your box of Twinkies on each side, plus get ready for this one. You have your levers to where you can easily fold down the seats. Just go ahead and pull that and they fold down. Look at that. Oh my God, Lori, it's working. I don't have to move the seats. Oh, look what we just did. We didn't have to cut and do a whole nother take. Love the way, nice flat. Now, if you need more height, let's say that you got that barrel of pickles that you're picking up from Costco, check this out. You could actually move this in all, so I just lower the floor. Look at the difference. There's the proof. The proof is in the eating of the pudding and you could also lower this one as well. Look at that, just made extra room for your pickle barrel. Hit that button, closes nicely, but let me know what you think. This is the top platinum trim. I know that usually, of course, has all the bells and whistles, but are you liking the changes that they made for 2024 on this Nissan Rogue outside and inside? Let me know in the comment section if you think it's better than a CRV or a CX-5. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up LG Rady. She's making it happen here at the show. Thank you, Lori, for being the best. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.